All right, guys, welcome back to another Victoria Events with Caleb Shaw in the Chick-fil-A studios. The month is almost gone. We are flying through, but let's just get right into it. You've seen this young lady on the show before. We're happy to have her. They are doing big things, but without further ado, let me just let her introduce herself and who she is here with. Boss lady, the floor is yours. Uh, my name is Pamela Edge, and I'm the Mother Cluck and Coop executive of Mother Cluckers Downtown, which simply means behind the scenes I do all things paperwork and organize events and do the bookkeeping and stuff. And I'm also the number one fan of the Mother Cluckers team. Well, I'm going to close number two running behind you because I, I think it's just as cool the second time you're on the show talking about it as the first time. <laughs> but since the last time you were on here mm -hmm. to this time, mm -hmm. you guys have had some major changes. Yes. Um, location being one of the biggest ones. Yes. Um, I think last time you guys were on, you were still at your original location. And right. you've got a whole new thing going on downtown. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about it. So we, of course, we've opened a brick and mortar store and we have tons of vendors that uh, we have a curated market and everything is just a it's a nice blend of um, old and new and it's oh it's just awesome so you walk in and you feel like you're in another city um and then we wanted to add something more so we're starting to organize a whole bunch of different downtown events because we think of it as um the events are heartbeats yes, and everybody puts out a heartbeat and all the downtown vendors put to heart put out a heartbeat and then we have lots of different stores that are now opening up downtown i've seen that it is what a blessing yes, to downtown yes ma'am so everybody's putting out their heartbeat so we organize those and we have different events and our next one is going to be march 4th and we call it celebrate texas celebrate 1836 which is Texas's birthday. I like it. It's well done. And this isn't even the first uh, event that you guys have down uh, have done down there. I mean, almost immediately upon hitting the floor and getting your feet on the mm -hmm. floor, you guys were already giving back and, and serving the mm -hmm. community down there. And, yeah. and and heard you had a real successful event already down there and, and took no time off to rest. And you're just heading yeah. right towards the next one. And so mm -hmm. let's talk about it. one cool name. Celebrate 1836. Yes. I like it. Well yes. done. I'm a, I'm a freedom type of guy. So I like that. that that's awesome. What is Celebrate 1836? What do you guys have planned for us down there? Well, we have uh, our opening act will be Ashley Post. Ah, and she's a local young lady. Uh -huh. Very excited. But then J.R. Cole is going to be our headliner during the day. And he brings to the table some phenomenal country music. And he is going to make your heart beat go because he's, he's good looking. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Well, well, I didn't uh, know where you're going oh, with that. He is a good looking man. <laughs> I, you know, I can acknowledge that. Yeah. I'm. Good looking but fellow, yes ma'am. One of the things that we learned about our last event is we didn't have enough out downtown seating. Yes ma'am. So we now have a bunch of picnic tables that we have sponsorship on. So please um, look at the sponsorship and give them some love. And places for you to sit, enjoy, shop, have some food, and just be a family. Just a it's a family event. It's cool when you get to walk around and mingle downtown. There's mm -hmm. there's there's always a different feel in downtowns when yeah. You know, the rest of the world seems to go be going 100 miles around right. you, but you can take a second and walk and talk to people and, right. and all that. And mm -hmm. I love when you guys do things like this because, you know, it, it everybody's just like in a great mood and they're walking around yeah. and it's, it's one of those things, high tide raises all ships. And it's mm -hmm. like you said, you have all these mm -hmm. great new businesses out there and what a, right. what a cool way for them to get their feet wet also right. and, and not have to worry, you know. There's a lot involved in opening your doors for the first time and the stresses and all of that. Mm -hmm. And you know, they have a ton on their plate. They and do. so for you guys to come in here when you still have a ton on your plate and you guys are still, even though you're rocking and rolling, you're still getting your feet under you as well. Oh, absolutely. But I like the concept of going through giving. And I think that's pretty awesome to yeah. incorporate others into your progress and, and let others be a part of the show. Mm -hmm. I, I just, it's well, a heartbeat. Like the you said. exciting part, and I get really excited about this. Talk to me. I do we too. We have all the vendors lining the streets and each vendor has a, there's going to be an opening so that you can go visit the downtown businesses. So everyone's open. It's, it's like you said, family event mm -hmm. and everybody's sharing their heartbeat because at the end of the day, titles will not be remembered. Business names will not be remembered, but that feeling of love and that feeling of community, that's what we want people to remember. Absolutely. I could not have said it better. And, and you know, I, I've been saying this a lot over the last year or two, but I, that's been one of my favorite things about doing this show is I get to see great people like you all and your businesses because 
it's really neat to see instead of everybody kind of getting territorial and be like, hey, this is my spot. I'm going to work here. You guys do your thing. You do your thing. I'm going to do mine. Right. Everybody's like, hey, let's work together. Let's do this it together. And that to me is powerful when you look and you don't have one business. You don't have two. You've got a ton of them lying in the streets. And right. everybody's there to lift each other up. And everybody, exactly. instead of worrying about, is she doing better than me? Is What can I do to help her? Mm-hmm. And and I just, I want to commend you all on that. I That's one of my favorite things to watch. I downtown does a great job of it mm-hmm. and and the community I would just argue as a whole here the last year or two is just it's been really spectacular to see it and so I commend you guys on that and I, I think it's awesome that you you're not just worried about your own success you're worried yeah. about the success of others and so yeah. thank you for that so they all it just is awesome because they all work together mm-hmm. and then everybody's putting out their own publicity and so when we talk about that heartbeat earlier well earlier I said let me tell you a recap <laughs> I said everybody brings together a little heartbeat, but mm-hmm. when all our heartbeats are in unison, all pumping for the same reason, it's just making Victoria phenomenal. I agree. I could not agree more. And so for those, again, this is Celebrate 1836, yes. March 4th, downtown from 11 to 6. Yes. How can people, if they want to be a part of this, mm-hmm. if they just want to call you guys and say thank you, if they want to swing by, how can they get in touch with you all? And what, can, what do you all need to make this a huge success? Well, number one, we need prayers okay. because you have to start with the prayers. Yes, ma'am. Um, if you go to Mother Cluckers uh, downtown, we have a website. We also have a Facebook. Uh, on our website, Mother Cluckers Mark or Mother Cluckers Downtown dot net, not com net. Got it. You go there; it'll tell you what's happening, the different events that are happening. If you want to be a vendor, it also has everything lined up for the next year. Outstanding. So you get to see all the things we're doing, including parking lot parties. We'll, we'll talk yeah, about, we'll talk about those coming up. Sounds but good. Our first one uh, for 2023, March 4th, 11 to 6. It's going to be great. It will be great. And again, thank you for all that you guys do. I, I, yeah, I wish you success. It, it, but you guys hit the ground running and way to go. Way to go. Yeah. But that's a product of your hard work. So, all right. So um, you said give a little, what is this, jujitsu thing? Uh, jujitsu point. That was. Oh, like, so we just do that because we don't know what to point. do with our hands. We get nervous, so you just well, point. It's, thank it's, you. It's, yes, but you're welcome. <laughs> All right, guys, we will take a quick break for our sponsors, and we'll be right back. back with our next guest and I'm excited about this one we have not had him on the air before but I want to I'm excited too because they do a lot of great stuff they bring a lot of great events to the community and they do a lot of great support of our community and our ISD and so um, without further ado young lady if you wouldn't mind please introduce yourself and tell them who you are here with so hi everybody I'm Robin Harkey I am the executive director for the VISD Education Foundation so my next question is what in the world is the VISD Education Foundation if I didn't know anything about it what would you tell me so Kayla I'm, gl- I'm glad you asked so basically we're a nonprofit organization here in Victoria and all of our outreach goes back to funding innovative and inspirational projects that exceed what Victoria ISD's operational budget can cover. And, and you know, and sadly, that's one of the things that all of our schools, our ISD, everybody's just short on funds, you know, and, and, but I appreciate the fact that you guys are saying, hey, let us go out there and try to earn this. Let us take a creative ways to find this money, to, to funnel back and, and try to help these students and, and, you know, and really just keep them moving forward. And so I, I think this is great. And I, I think this is really neat that you all work to support the ISD and to help them. And because you've got a, a well, I get all excited. Let me just back up a second. Tell me, you know, you all, when you do these things and you raise these proceeds, what do they go to? And what is some of y'all's mission as far as what you guys do exactly? 
Absolutely. So we have three main um, areas of outreach of support to the district. Uh, our crown jewel is our Grants for Great Ideas program. It's a, a teacher initiated grant program. So our educators, they come up with some amazing ideas for mm -hmm. their kids to help learning come, come alive in their classrooms. And so we fund, last year alone, we funded over $65,000 wow. in um, Grants for Great Ideas. Secondly, we offer dual credit scholarships to Victoria East and Victoria West students who will attend um, Victoria College. So for their basics, you know, mm -hmm. biology, English, things like political science, um, we, we come alongside them and provide dual credit scholarships. And we also support um, seniors in the district uh, mm -hmm. with senior scholarships. And there's other ways that we give back as mm -hmm. the need and the opportunities arise. Yes, ma'am. Well, those, every one of those is spectacular and awesome. And I, I can personally speak to the dual credit thing. I, I did that through high school. And it was such a huge help, you know, when by the time I graduated, I think my junior and senior year it was that I, I went half a day to high school and then the second half to college. And it really just set me up for success because when I got out, I was like two years ahead of a lot of my peers. And it, it, it greased the skids for everything. You know, I was this close to an associate. So when I did join the military, my testing went faster. Everything went faster. Even when I opened my, my real estate company, because I had degrees and I had those, I was able to further accelerate in life quicker. And, and why well, I say quicker, I earned it on the front side, but it paid <laughs> off on the back side. But that's why I think this is so good because it, for those extra motivated students, it, it gives them that outlet to, some, some people are just quick and they're out there ahead and, and you know we can get in their way and slow them down or we can speed them up. And, and you guys have found ways to speed them up and I think it's awesome. And the teacher grant thing, that's really neat too because I like that it's teacher driven because they get to see the students. They're with them every day. They, they hear these ideas. They hear them. And, and you know, and I, there's victory in this when, they, when, a, when a student presents something or a teacher presents something and they've come up with this thing and they pitch it and they go through the whole thing and then it comes through and it yes. works and they get it and they find that victory. You know, that, that can be something that motivates them or inspires them for the rest of their life or teaches them how to go out and get something, you know, instead Absolutely. of sitting back and saying, hey, deliver. Now let me go earn. And I think it's pretty awesome. I get all excited if you can't tell. I, I, That's great. You know, that was one of the first lessons I learned is, you know, you can do anything you want if you're willing to work hard and go earn for it and, and go out and get it. And so I, I appreciate you for this. But on that note, in addition to where all these, off, all these awesome things go to, what you were doing in this go around to get it is pretty freaking awesome. You guys, well, you tell me who you're bringing in uh -huh. here. I, I, not like he really needs an introduction, but we'll go ahead and give him one anyway. So I just, I mean, I'm just ecstatic about this incredible opportunity for Victorians or just community members to come out um, to support our mission. And we are bringing in uh, Saturday Night Live alumni, Kevin <laughs> Nealon. Yes, ma'am. Uh, he will be here. We're bringing him into Victoria February 11th. The show starts at 7.30. And... Um, what people might not realize is that Kevin travels the country currently, like almost weekly, doing stand-up comedy. So stand-up is his passion. That's his bread and um, butter. Some of you might have also seen him in the Showtime we in the show on uh, Showtime called Weeds. Mm -hmm. Also in movies with Adam Sandler, like Anger Management, no, Happy Gilmore. Hilarious. He, <laughs> yeah, the he guy is, is just the funny. real deal. Uh -huh. So we want you to to come out. And uh, even if your kids don't go to VISD or mm -hmm. grandkids don't, you know, come out. This is going to be an awesome night of fun. Mm -hmm. um, also, we are bringing in another comedian that will come on before him for about 30 minutes. Oh, great. And then Kevin will uh, perform about it for about another um, 60 minutes, so about an hour and a half yeah. worth of comedy. And um, tickets yeah. are available at www dot visd events dot com okay. again visd as in dog yes ma'am um, events dot com if they're, if they're not sold out which I know will be a big if yeah. because we these things are going but if for some reason they're not sold or they're not sold out can you also buy them day of event if there's any left absolutely okay all right I didn't but know if right be now sold out. it's it's all online okay so just you got it there yeah if we'll you get show out there up early the, if you if you show up at the fine arts center we'll help we'll you try. facilitate yes, it on your phone if okay. you need it. I see. I'll yes, see. but okay. there will not be any physical tickets there Understood. to pick up. Okay, I'm yes. glad I asked. Yes, yes. ma'am. And, and, and the Victoria Fine Arts, is, that, that, that center is just beautiful. That's a an amazing venue. venue. And, yes. and I'll say for anybody that's never been to a comedy show, they're fun, you know, yes. and it, it's, I, I've only been to a couple in my whole life, but every single one of them, I just, I had a ton of fun and, mm -hmm. and 
comedians, they're good. And and the way they dictate and own a stage and yes. own an audience, and, and it, it's pretty cool. And, and yeah, I would absolutely say this is one of those, and to have somebody at this level, you know, I mean, yes. this guy was on Saturday Night Live and all yes. those other shows that you mentioned, and, and he's one of my favorite characters in most of the things that he's in. And so, yeah, it, it's, to have that caliber of talent come to Victoria, you definitely don't want to miss out on yes. that. Agreed. Um, so, yeah, so they can get their tickets right now at visdevents.com. Um, again, these support teacher grants, dual credit scholarships, senior scholarships, and a whole bunch of other stuff. And so That's right. um, I appreciate you. Is there anything I'm forgetting to talk about? Anything that I, I just right past? Sure. One thing I'd like to say is, you know, some of the questions we get about, like, you know, what age appropriateness of it. So we'd say oh, like good four, question. Yes, 14 and up. 14 up okay. is, is, is plenty good. It will be a clean show, but, you know, kids under that yes, won't, won't get the humor. Right. No, that so makes total sense. So we, we just kind of want to put that out there so people understand, you know, hey, you could bring your whole family if you want to. Be a great date night uh, for Valentine's Day. Another good thing is great, you know, companies could buy a few tickets to give away to their employees. You could, it could even be a camaraderie thing. You just, you know, bring, you bring your company. And, girls and just, night, guys night, got, whatever. Girls night, guys night, company night, whatever. Just, just come on out. And again, don't miss this amazing opportunity. This guy travels. He does not come to Victoria. This is not something that he does. Well, and if we pack these so. stands and you guys will be able to do more and, and bring in more great guests Absolutely. and talent and stuff. That's we just, right. we have to do our part and show up and support. And so, yes, sir. um, Thank you for all the hard work that goes on behind Thank the you. scenes. Not everybody realizes how hard you guys work to do these things. It is not easy. It is by no simple stretch is this fun. It's a lot of work for you guys. <laughs> it's but <right. clears throat> thank you for doing yes. it. And thank you for your passion to help the VISD and, and the students out there. It's, it's greatly appreciated. Anything I'm forgetting, young lady? I think that's, I think that's a wrap. Well, thank you for coming on. You did phenomenal. Guys, let's take a quick break from our sponsors, and we'll be right back with the next guest. I love the taste of the holidays. And when I'm in the mood for a warm up, I order a cup full of cozy chicken tortilla soup. It's hearty, spicy, and creamy. These holiday menu items are only available for a limited time. Good thing I already ordered mine on my Chick-fil-A app through team member delivery. Since 1932, Walk and Volk has been closing mortgages and doing it the right way. And the reason why the Volks opened up a bank um, at the height of the Great Depression was because the bank needed to be opened at the height of the Great Depression. And it was good for the community at that time. A lot of the banks were going under. In order to keep that community sound and stable, it was something that they did. I think that that says something about who Wallach and Volk was 85 years ago. And the only way you get to continue to do it is if you consistently do it great. And we plan on doing this for another 85 years. Awesome. Looks like my Chick-fil-A delivery has arrived. Guys, I'm going to dig into this, but don't forget this is only available for a limited time, so get yours ordered today. All right, guys, we are back with our next guest, and I'm excited about this one because up until they showed up here, I didn't really know this existed, but I think it's pretty cool, and so... I'm going to let this young man here tell me all about it. My friend, if you wouldn't mind, please introduce yourself and tell him who you were here with. Yeah, so I'm uh, Scooter Wells. I'm with the uh, Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation. We've actually had, uh, this is our 23rd banquet in Victoria, so we've actually been here for a while. Just I apologize, <laughs> my friend. I, uh, I'm a little behind the curve on right? this one, but better late than never. That's, you know, that's it's, right. uh, hey. I'm glad to join the party finally. But. Well, so we're trying to get the name out, and that's kind of the point reason of being here. So, um, you know, a lot of people hear Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation, and they think, well, there's no elk in Texas. Which, or Rocky Mountains here or Rocky in Mountains Victoria. Way. So, yeah. We're flat. So, yes, sir. Um, so, yeah, we're mainly a, a conservation group that we're uh, out there to conserve wildlife and uh, their, you know, the heritage and the, the hunting heritage and the wildlife, uh, their habitat in mm -hmm. the mountains. Fortunately for us in Texas, we have a lot of public land, so we're a, or private land, so we're able to kind of hunt where we want to. We're in the other states that are out west, we don't have as much, um, you know, it's all, it's mostly public land, so you've got to have access to that. So part of the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation is to go out and raise money to put back towards funds that open those lands up for hunters and hikers and fishermen and everything else out in the, you know, Rocky Mountains. Um, so we have a banquet every year here in South Texas to help raise funds for that, and that's coming up this Friday on uh, at the community center here in town. Outstanding. Well, let me break this down a little bit because there was a lot of good information in there. 
Um, yeah, that's one of the big things that's different between Texas and say like Colorado or something that that we weren't aware of. You know, right. here if I just want to go camping or go out, like I can't just oh that spot looks good down the side right. of the road. Pull my truck off and go. You know, somebody right. come out and I'll get shot on their land <laughs> for, right, for right. doing that. But yeah. Colorado's different. Like they have this public land where you're driving. You're like, hey, I like this spot. You can pull off there, pull your truck off the deal. That's, you that's can, right. I think they call it boondocking or whatever, okay. where you can just camp and, and then you can also hunt. And, and and I know there's a little more, you know, some rules oh, yeah, and stuff, but right. but it, it's totally different than down here. And so you all, let me make sure I understand all this. You guys have your organization here and then you, you raise funds and then what happens from there? Like you guys do what with it? So we take those funds and they go back to, I guess, you know, the mother Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation. And they, but they go towards projects that are there to conserve lands. Um, we actually have taken herds of elk and, and, and uh, re, I guess, replenished elk herds in like West Virginia, Virginia. Uh, we do projects to put in, you know, like Colorado. The last few years have been extremely dry. So we put in uh, food plots, water, that kind of stuff. Cause, elk are migratory animals so they're not something you can just you know pin up like a lot of people do in in texas for the most part right. so we put projects in there to help the migratory um i guess uh pathways of those elk in order to uh expand their their livelihoods for everybody else to, to enjoy for as long as they as long as my kids are around anyway right and i think that's what a lot of people you know i, I was ignorant to this fact for a long time is hunting done properly is conservation in a way because right. you know they you don't want to just go out there and just mow down everything on your land or in the same breath sometimes you can't just let them all run wild at the same time because the food might be scarce so there's right. you know it, it's it's a lot deeper than just shooting something and yeah and so uh, it back, kind of somewhat back to your question is we as hunters we're part of the rocky mountain elk foundation but so we we actually take that money and we put it back towards um i think the, the there's been 1.3 billion dollars that have been submitted back into uh, lands and to allow those lands to remain open for elk to roam on and, and not just elk, any other wildlife that you know we can hunt and we can fish and whatever else. And the, obviously, like you said, the objective is not to go out and just Start shoot every elk things. that's yeah, there. No, I mean, not at all. Our goal is ultimately to to help the herds thrive and have as many animals as we can, as much as the, the land will support. Well, they prosper, and then you can also right. feed your kids' kids if right. done correctly. You know, it just keeps on going, and yes. everybody prospers. Correct. Yeah, no, that, man, I, I, I also, so you guys have this group here, so I could come, I could go to this deal, and I could join you all's organization. How often do you all meet? So we, we really don't have too many, often many, we have once a, a month, we have, or once a year, we have the banquet that we're having this year to help raise funds. We've got a, a group of committee members. We meet once every quarter or so and kind of have a get together and all that good stuff. Um, and then as far as the corporate goes, we have different events across the nation that people go to and they're a lot bigger in, you know, some of the Western states where elk hunting is more of a bigger deal. But, um, here is, is, you know, we try to get as many people involved as we can um, and try to get the word out there. Um, and so we have this banquet once a year, uh, trying to grow it and get as big as we can. Um, you know, it's not just all about elk hunting, as like I said, so you don't have to be an elk hunter to come to the banquet. You don't even have to be a member of the, of the uh, elk foundation to come to the banquet. You can just, if you wanna just come and sit down and have a meal, you can buy a ticket, we're having meals, uh, they're being uh, sent in from Mumford's. So we're nice. gonna have meal, we have, we have drinks that are covered. Uh, you're more than welcome to just come join, come check it out, see what it's about. We got auctions, uh, raffles, all that good stuff. So games, just come enjoy, have a good time. Awesome, well man, I apologize that I was late to the party, but I'm here now and I appreciate what you guys do. And um, those elk, man, they're, they're, they're beautiful. And, oh yeah. And it's a, that they can be scary. We were talking off camera. If you didn't know what they sound like at night, they, they can make this yelling noise. And if you're not aware of that, that can spook you pretty good. It, 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 of, it'll definitely raise a the, hair on your neck. Out of the field. But hey, so how can people get in touch with you guys if they want to reach out, if they want to join this group, if they want to find more information about you all, how can they do so? Yeah, so the easiest way now uh, with the banquet coming up this quick is to just get in touch with me. My okay. number, uh, and my number is 361-649-4751. Um, and they can email me. Uh, well, I don't know if we can put a link up or somehow there. Yeah, go ahead. Give it to us real quick. Emails samuel.wells at archrock.com. Gotcha. Um, 
I've got some other guys that can help out. Uh, main thing right now is just if you want to just reach out straight to me, that's the easiest thing to do. You can go on to rmef.org and read anything you want about the, the mission of the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation. Um, it's been around since 1984, so it's an organization that's been around a while. Uh, 90 cents out of every dollar goes back in towards conservation, so it's not like it's a, a racket to collect money and, and, and pad somebody's pockets with it. It all goes back, most of it goes back into conversation, in the conservation. So, Outstanding. Um, so yeah, the banquet, 5.30 this, uh, this Friday at the community center, uh, come out, have some drinks, have some dinner, check it out, and have a good time. I was saying, well, brother, we appreciate you. If, if on your next trip to Colorado, if you see me hiding in the luggage, <laughs> don't don't bust me. Just get me there, man. Like yep. I, I love it out there, and I appreciate what you guys are doing. Uh, thank you so much. Um, all right, guys, coming up next, we've got my favorite segment, the middle of the week with the chopping block, Victoria. It's going to be delicious, as always. Let's check it out. I'm David Murphy with Chick-fil-A Victoria. Chick-fil-A made its debut in Victoria, Texas way back in 1980 with our first restaurant in Victoria Mall. 20 years later, our first freestanding location opened at Whispering Creek. Fast forward another 20 years and our licensed location opened inside the UHV University Commons. Next is our biggest endeavor yet, a massive new restaurant taking up an entire city block on Rio Grande. When it opens, we will have grown our Chick-fil-A Victoria family from 20 team members back in 1980 to more than 250 dedicated and caring people who are proud to serve our guests and community by building lasting relationships relationships and creating unforgettable experiences. It is our pleasure to serve you, Victoria. All right, guys, we are back with our new segment, Mill of the Week, sponsored by the Chop and Block Victoria. This is about as good as it gets, but before we go any further, this Saturday from 11 to 2, make sure you swing by the Chopping Block, Victoria. They are celebrating their one-year anniversary here in town. They do an amazing job. They're an amazing sponsor. They're an even better butcher, so make sure you check them out. And today, I'm going to check out, they sent us over some wings. I'm a big wings guy. I love these. These have the cattleman season on it, seasoning on them. Good stuff. So, guys, I'm going to eat these wings, but make sure you get by the chopping block this Saturday for their one-year anniversary party. They're going to have samples, all sorts of good stuff. If you haven't been yet, it's time. We'll see you next week, guys. Oh, yeah. Thanks so much for tuning in to Victoria Events with Caleb Shaw. Make sure you comment down below, like the post, share the post. It really helps the algorithm. If you haven't done so already, make sure you follow our page. If you're watching on YouTube, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any episodes. And if you have an event coming on you want featured on Victoria Events, shoot us a message. We'd love to help you get the word out there. Lastly, make sure you support our sponsors. We could not do this show without them, so we're very grateful. Thanks so much, Victoria, and we'll see you at the next one.